Well, you don't need a calendar to tell you what day it is in Madison. The curbs will tell you that. Before you pick up any of those unwinded items that you see all over the curb during moving days, make sure you don't have a few extra roommates coming with some of them. Our Leah Linscheid joins us with more from downtown Madison. Leah? Yeah, don't, doesn't just the idea of bed bugs kind of make you itch a little bit? So the first thing you're picking up on these moving days, probably not the errant mattress. But the thing about bed bugs is they can reside on things as flat as a wooden surface in these drawers, even in the screw holes of a lot of these items. So we asked the experts today, what are some things that you should do to make sure you keep those bed bugs at bay when you're moving into your new space? Moving days. It's the most wonderful time. Is basically a Madison holiday. My desk I have right now, I've gotten from the side of the street. So. Desk, yeah, the, the couch <laughs> that's in there, got that. For Jordan, Jason, and Danny, it's out with the old and in with the sometimes older. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun what you can find. You know, just kind of walk up and down, you're like, oh, that's nice. And comfy and free stuff. stuff. No yeah. visible stains. Not every curbside find is a Christmas present come early, though. So these are uh, human bed bugs. PJ Leash with UW's Insect Diagnostics Lab gets these kinds of gifts all of the time. He's got some tips on how to tell streetside treasure from bug ridden trash. First, look for unwanted bed mates in side seams and corners. They don't like to be out in the open. They like to hide in cracks and crevices, so seams on mattresses and box springs. Another telltale sign, they're droppings. And the best analogy I can make, it looks like if you had a leaky black ballpoint pen. If you took that and dabbed it onto fabric and you got those little black stains. And the smaller the item, the better. If you see something small, one thing you could do is take those and place them in a freezer for about a week, seven to ten days. That would, in theory, kill bed bug, eggs, juveniles, adults. <laughs> God, that'd be terrifying. These three plan on doing a thorough check of their newfound possessions. It's the most wonderful time. But as for the gifts they'll leave behind and whether they'll come with a surprise inside? Hopefully not. <laughs> I can't make a promise on that one. <laughs> Now, let's take a look at one of those crevices I was talking about. Here is where the bed bugs love to hide. You see how dark that can get in there? Along this seam is where you should be checking on these pieces of furniture out on the sidewalk. Now, let's say this is your piece of furniture and it does have bed bugs and you left it on the sidewalk. You're supposed to spray it with spray paint just to be courteous and let folks know don't pick this one up. But Eric and Susan, hard to to turn down some new furniture, huh? Just make sure you're checking first. And we know you love a good treasure, Leo. <laughs> Quote unquote new I furniture. Love it. I love it. This is heaven. All right, Leah, thank you.